Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to another part of Jack and Daxter. We're greeted with a, a lovely one of these uh, elevator shafts or whatever they are, with like a kaleidoscope. You're greeted by lovely Johnny. Hey, well, I, I am greeted by both Johnny and and a, kaleido a kaleidoscope-esque uh, thing there. And uh, yeah, so his voice, uh, it, what was it, what is it, I was going to say symbolizes, no, indicates that he is back. Well, rather actually just flat out shows that he's back. Oh wow, great <laughs> stuff. Um, Jesus. Sometimes it's a symptom of the fact that I'm uh, present. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which would be sounding like we're kind of nitroing it by using like really. Oh, I was words. just about. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. My uh, voice is kind of uh, juxtaposed with the, uh, the uh, your uh, drunken voice. Except not really, of course. All right, I died. So great start. But so this is part. I think it's nine. And here we are in the. What's it, I think this is called Lost Precursor City. That's what it's called. It's like a. Yeah, I always, I always confuse this with basin. The, yeah, the name. Yeah, for me it. too. Because when you said I, I just recorded precursor basin. I was like, oh, which level was that? Was that this one or? You know, That's it. For yeah. Some I, reason this feels like a basin. To me yeah, well, well. well, it is kind of in like the in like a water, watery sense or whatever. It's like it's like it's like. I don't know, it's hard to, it's, that's probably the wrong way of describing it, but, uh, what's the word? Oh, shit. Like, Uriel will tell us the, uh, definition. Yeah, yeah. When, when he doesn't just leave, uh, comments that have, like, a picture of a, um, Ooh. smiley face. Ooh. But, um... Good. Go! What? Oh, yeah, you're you... a bit behind, right, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, it's... <laughs> that was, yeah, what, th this is what it's like, because it is, like, there's, like, a three, four second delay on the actual screen. This all that is stuff. what it feels like. Um, alright, so, I was always wondering, like, I, I've been a huge fan of the Jack 2, how they, you know, they, they got the futuristic type stuff, and I was always wondering where in proximity this level would be to where that game is. Like, where this would be. Nowhere, just on the, on the water. Like, oh, just out of reach. Out of no reach. one knows about it. Anymore. But the thing is, is that the world is so huge that it would almost seem like it, it was at a place or something like that. Maybe even at a place. I, I reckon. I think some guy actually did some map, and actually like basically overlaid the Jack and Daxter map with the. With <gasps> oh the, um, oh, uh, uh, that kind of map. For a second there, I was like getting excited because I thought you you were saying like some guy made a custom map for the game. Oh, that'd be the the greatest thing ever. But unfortunately, we 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 can all boyhood dream about it, but. It's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna it's happen. Not it, it would have been so awesome if, or like, or even what I would have if loved. If they had is, a tool set or something. Or even like a, uh, if someone was, or even if like Naughty Dog themselves made like some form of, um, what's the a word? Tool set. Well, yeah, tool set would be cool. But I mean, like, I I want to see the way that everything completely. I, I, I think I'm just doing this the wrong way. I don't even know what I'm really doing. Actually, wait. You see. gotta hurry though. Yeah. See what? Well, okay. So it wants us hurry to just to the use other that side and then. Okay, so I guess you really don't even have to do that. Um, I could have got up there. Though, I think. What am I? What am I looking for? Even like I can't even. I think I think you gotta press the button, then get to the other side and press the other button or something. You sure? It just seems like to me it's just a it's just a way in. Or which, do whatever. I think it's just a way in which getting across without getting hit. Uh, maybe. I don't know if it. Okay, I've got no idea. This this, this level was always confused me as a kid. But I was what I was saying was uh, I'm just trying to think. Is there anything I'm missing at all? I just want to double check. Anything up there? Uh, oh no, actually no. There's nothing. There's nothing. All that was was it just helps us get past. Um, all it does is just meant to help us get past the water. That you're meant to t use those things to get across. But obviously, as yeah, there's like, a there's a bit later kind of like that uh, where you have to press a button and it raises platforms and then you do have to use them to go up that's somewhere it, yeah, to that's the it. power do, cell. Yeah. Fuck. Sake. Oh just my god. Really. Yeah, you gotta really just pay pay attention and strategize when you're gonna Or rather just the... not be impatient, which is which is me. Yeah. I'm just completely impatient when it comes to this. Like um but I'm not, I'm not impatient enough to want to look out the window here. Like, uh, what's it called? How do I do it? Look that out again? the window. There's a window. Uh, wait, how do I do that again? Wait. Uh, the triangle. Triangle. That's it. Look at that. The the aquatic life there. Very nice. All right, let's. Wow. Okay. There's a there's a good delay. Oh yeah, yeah. There is a good delay. There's literally like this. Not this. That's the Elgato system. So. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh fuck, how do I... Oh no, wait. Let me just, okay, I'm just trying to think. Uh, jump across like that, and then try to spin them to get him. Like, like that. Oh, come on. I think you... Alright, okay, cool. <laughs> there we go. You, you can go down there anyway, though. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, thought so. It's, it's, it's not a pit. There's actually stuff down there, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, is it? I'm not sure, actually. Let's There's a. See. I think there was a guy on the shoulders of another guy down there. Oh yeah, no. I think it, oh, all it is is just a punishment for falling. Just like that the, guy, yeah. yeah. Um, really what I was gonna say is, yeah. <laughs> talk about a punishment. <laughs> you happen to listen to him while commentating. You know, it's like I don't <sighs> care, man. I don't care. Um, I was gonna say like what was I was. I kept on messing up before I was gonna actually say it, but. Um, what I meant, what I was talking about, was I would love to see a world in which they actually showed um, the construction of the new world. So, like, basically, uh, like a Jack 1.5, not Daxter, because you're already in the new world by Daxter. But do you mean like like like, one like, of those, like, like actually what happened? Type what, what led to this entire civilization be created? Because like, how many years exactly was it ahead of time for this for the for the you know Haven City to be made? You know what I mean? That I'm really I was maybe really, they don't even know. Maybe they just I don't think they did know, something. Really. Yeah, I think they just think distant future. Um, actually, I just realised that I'm also missing stuff too, at the very start. But it would have to be level. it would have to be X naughty dog. What? It, oh, it would right. have to be yeah, X. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's still a few people that work. Uh, no, there's, well, there's actually a fair bit of people mm. that still work at naughty dog from this. Really? But it's a different. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know that you, like, you want to you know, spew vitriol about <laughs> that in the current Naughty Dog, but they really are. Well, no, I, I, um, I, I saw this uh, making of of the uh, HD collection, and um, the, uh, the, the, the guys who ported this to HD, they sort of showed it off to uh, the original developers or the people that worked on the game, especially like the lead designers and lead coders and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were all talking about how they had long left Naughty Dog. Oh, really? Okay, so, so some of the, so some of the like, okay, definitely right. Definitely so. the main people were, were gone, Wow, okay, you know? well, well, I mean, the, yeah, and they were be even a lot talking of... about, you know, it's nothing like it used to be and stuff like that. Where, where was this? Was this on an official Sony channel or what? Um... I don't know, like it was some YouTube video that I saw, but it, yeah, it was sort of a making of type thing. That's actually pretty cool, because, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I know that there's definitely a fair few people that are there from, like, would, I'm pretty sure, like, from, like, from, you think about this, this one here was 2001, so that's, that's quite a while ago. I think, like, when Jack X Combat Racing came out, I think that was, like, 2005, there would have been a lot more people that were there from Jack X. Uh, for example, than, you know, uh, as opposed to like Uncharted and all that sort of stuff. Um, okay, this, those enemies are pretty out there, you go. Uh, so, I mean, I get, I get, you actually, you might, you actually might be more right than me. I definitely, I was, I was under the impression there was still a lot of people there that would have still been working on the original. But then again, if you look at, um, if you look at some of the information that you've got about Naughty Dog now and like how they tried to do, well, The Last of Us was originally a Jack and Daxter reboot. Oh, uh, like, oh, like, well, firstly, the idea that this series needs a fucking reboot makes me sick, because it would be an insult to every single thing that this game worked for, storyline-wise. Um, if this game got a reboot, I would, I would just, I don't know what I'd do with myself, because I, I just think that is just such a fucking slap in the face to, like... Well, it's the same thing with the Tomb Raider reboot and stuff like that, yeah, that there, and, and Hitman, that, that was, like, almost offensive, that Hitman Absolution game. <laughs> Was it, was that, was it that was given so a reboot? Shit. So is that, so that's uh, not the original storyline or anything or whatever? Because like uh, a reboot is not I just. I guess a some. Re yeah, but no, but it, it was kind of a reboot because it was like totally different from the early games, and it was like just like with the Tomb Raider one, and you know the. It. I mean. They they kept some of the characters in, obviously, which oh, okay. I mean they they would have done with Jack and Dexter as well. You got to use this to get up there, by the way. Yeah, get up to the. Uh... Aha! That's genius. But yeah, what were you saying? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, something yeah, like Diana's in there and so. But the story really has nothing to do with the earlier games, and but most m most 
of all, the, the gameplay is just completely like revamped for the worse and the, and the, uh, the style of storytelling so to speak and I would, yeah, I would just not, like with Tomb Raider you know I would like, not be confident with it with it with a, like a another kind of attempt at this I, w I would like it's one of those few games where you could do, I think the formula would basically obviously well, you can exactly. make customizations to it you know that, that's that's video game but design it's it's principle. more like but, uh, if if for some reason you know those guys that um, um, and they honestly they seemed like I heard like these lead guys talking about like they, they were looking at the HD collection right and they were going like one of the things they also said was like um, uh, you know I, uh, looking at this just makes me remember how fucking how much trouble we had like during development trying to make this work and that work and this work and that work like you know that's it's like uh, the director you know only being able to see sort of the you know, he can't look at his own film normally anymore because all he's thinking about is what went into it or something. Yeah. And they were going it. like, oh, this took so much work to get to and so much debugging and stuff like that because, I mean, this was fucking infant PS2 and they were just making incredible graphics and uh, and, and technological achievements sure. there. Yeah, well, it's still pretty incredible. Also, I mean, yeah, really, like, uh, like like Jack and Daxter is, you know, obviously this is the HD, uh, but... But yeah, but, but they actually kind of sounded bitter as well about... Oh, not bitter, but kind of like depressed. Like they had this depressed look over them when they were thinking... When they were talking of da uh, Naughty Dog, how it was now and why they left and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, so if they sort of somehow went and like... Um, uh, you know, did this Kickstarter thing with, uh, and you know, wanted to develop another Jack and Dexter game. I'd, I'd definitely be interested. I'd but yeah, it. they didn't have, they they did they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have the kind of budget, I suppose, that nah, they, nah, that they no would way. have had back no then. No way. Yeah, like th this was like I I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I I would want it to be. I don't know how how much money you really do need though, because maybe you don't need such a big development team maybe if they got as much people as they did on this game they could do something for i don't know ps3 or something because what the fuck is um, that yeah you know, someone dying really god bless this all <laughs> god uh fuck oh, um damn it. but yeah like i wouldn't want it to be one of the yeah you'd have to use the platforms there by the way see i, I always do the, the this particular way is a lot fucking easier. I'm failing like a, I'm playing like a moron today. I know that you meant to. Wait, what platform? Uh, I was thinking, you know, those platforms that you use to get over. Yeah, I just they just they're just a pain in the ass. Like this is way easier doing like this. You know what I mean? Is it? Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. It's really, it's really working, isn't it? It's it's really not. We played for 13 <laughs> minutes, and I don't even think I've even got a single power. Oh, I just got one just then, but that's all right. This level does actually take a while in general, but once we that's get all right. move on to it, it's not as difficult. Uh, okay, so you got to. Okay, you guys have to do this. This pain in the ass. Uh, Fuck. I just hate how slow this is. I'm really, I'm really into the fast-paced nature of this, and this level is like a real slowdown, which is, which is good. I don't know. It's a good thing, but it is, it is more slow. I think. Oh, I never this really had a problem with with these I reckon. You, you just gotta place them i i think i always just used to place them sort of strategically in between those two platforms so that i could quickly, quickly move jump between them when i press that yeah. that's smart i would do that actually good idea uh here we go here we gear into here here we jet hey come on here we gear here we go there we go michael there we go oh. Um, yeah, well, that's interesting that there's, there's not the sound a bit of it, like, had some interesting things to say that may not... Because, like, what I don't like is, like, Naughty Dog are, like, reviewed as, like, re like basically viewed as, like, gods in the industry now by a bunch of, like, 16-year-olds, you know what I mean, who wouldn't actually really know a damn about Crash or even Jack and Daxter. They just know Uncharted and Last of Us. And, like, while in, in many aspects... Where's that one? Where'd that one go? Oh, right there. Okay. 
Um, in while in many aspects that those games are heralded for, for certain reasons, um, I feel like, yeah, they're at their most creative when they... Oh, fuck. Okay, clearly not. Okay, I don't yeah, you've got to place them. you got to place them in a Come on. good go. space again. Go. Come on. There we go. Um, like, you know, I think that, yeah, honestly, I, I, I reckon Jack and Daxter is probably their most ambitious. Uh, I reckon, like in terms of like just the way that they design stuff and the way they constructed an entire universe, and not a chapter. Yeah, that's the thing. If if those if those guys were to make another game or something with a Kickstarter or whatever, I wouldn't want it to be like an indie type thing, you know, like where it's like clearly Wait, low but budget. But Johnny, and you don't you don't want a Jack and Daxter two D platformer? Come on, man. <laughs> What's no, wrong with you? Do that. you, you anti hipster? <laughs> God. No, could you imagine that? Like, Jack and Daxter returns on the PC. There will be something. Oh, you know, yeah, like, there would be. That would honestly. Or the Wii U. Or the Wii U. Oh, fuck. I die. That would be something that one of those French developers, or like French Canadian developers, would would have done. Like the Ubisoft guys or something. That would. Um, to me, I feel like. I almost think that there would have had to be some level of pressure from Ubisoft or something like that to do 3D platformers. 3D, honestly, I say that Ubisoft. this sounds controversial, but I am almost convinced that the 3D platformer genre has been blacklisted from gaming Hollywood. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not, jo I'm not making a joke here. I'm, I, think about it. Really think about it. It's like people are actually physically revolt repulsed at the notion of creating a 3d game like 3d platforming game or even 3d adventure really like i seriously other other than nintendo and, and sega you know with the, the sonic but they're not really even they're not really the same thing that's like that kind of like so what the oh, fuck. what the what the fuck is the problem with with why does everyone have to do 2D fucking platformers these days. It's like Rayman Legends, Rayman Origins, like they're good games, that's for sure. But everyone's been wanting Rayman, like a, a 3D Rayman game since Rayman 4 was unofficially announced before it became uh, Rabbids. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone was clamoring yeah. for that, for that Rayman 4. Do you know what I mean? It was an incredibly popular series, it, you know, and then all of a sudden Rabbids comes along and then they don't do anything with it. They completely ruin the Rayman name by making it just about the rabbits, and then they bring it back, but in, only in two. Maybe as I don't know, it, it's like the the 3D stuff. They sort of want to. It's it's like they they want to they want to uh, make a story, um, and they want it written by some asshole Hollywood <laughs> screenwriter, and. He just wants to write, you know, like dramatic shit, and it just doesn't fit in a 3D platformer for me. It's got to be uncharted, you know. It's got to be like it's got. You got to have shooting. You got to have uh, a real, you know, human drama. No, no silly characters uh, that are, you know, um, not human and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and um, uh. uh so, but but then if they want to sort of make a more, you know, cutesy game or whatever, yeah, you're not going to make this one. No. You already, you already trapped yourself there. <laughs> what an idiot! All right, okay, what we continue? Um, uh, what was it? yeah, yeah, like if they want to make sort of a, a a more cutesy story, they either think it's going to be kids oriented and they'll make something ridiculous like Raving Rabbits, or um, or it's gonna be 2D because that's cheaper and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically that's it. I've that's cheaper and less ambitious or something like they don't need to put a whole. Look, I mean, like, if, if Angus R. Daisy can create a uh, a 2D platformer, you know, then I mean, you know, I think that that's sort of proof that I think they asked to, to you know, just typically easier. Uh, games to design, I, I honestly think. Um, you know, the uh, it's and, and it lends easy. itself more to like that arty uh, visual type. Of, I mean, obviously you can do that with 3D, like definitely. But um, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe maybe there's like maybe most artists uh, that they'll you know that they'll want to hire these days are more um, 
you know, they, they, they can, they can only sort of make, you know, design art in sort of a 2D realm where like, you know, oh yeah, we want to make something truly expressive. Oh, you got to go 2D for that because you can, you know, sketch this and that and you have to have these uh, nice brush effects and oh, who yeah, the fuck it, yeah. knows what else. But, um, but that, uh, they completely sort of ignore the amazing art that went into uh, the 3D design of some of these earlier games. That's it. Uh, yes. And maybe that maybe that is just too challenging for them, or they don't have people around to do that as much these wow, days. What? Uh, wow, this is the worst gameplay I've ever done in years. This is so bad. This is Rugrats level fail. Um, sorry, continue. Yeah, like, well, uh, oh, oh, right. what you oh, blaming, oh, blaming yourself, you mean? Blaming myself, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah this for a second sucks, I thought you went man. like, this is the worst gameplay ever. <clears throat> no, the gameplay's fantastic. I'm just really not on my game um, play. But, um, but, yeah, no, to add to what oh. you said, uh, as you know, I, may, maybe, maybe there is a bit of extra pressure as the graphics improve, right? You know, it's like they, they absolutely have to... Um, this is good, wow. I think I have to... You a piece of the what's, what's that? Sorry, to the cute. It seems you can use eco in ways we've never seen before. Yeah. A power cell surfaced with the room. Climb up there and get it. You better will, believe it. I will get it. Thank you, Kira. I will get you, babe. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Alright. Excellent. I always had trouble getting up there, I think. Did you? Or did I? I don't even have to do the bloody jump, the, you know, whatever it was called. I thought I would actually have to do that. Um, what was I going to say? Was something else. It, it, it was almost like I had to glitch up there. Seriously? Or maybe I just, yeah, maybe I tried to get up there before I did that other thing or something. I don't know. Eh, whatever. That is quite did, odd. Did you even com complete the... Yeah, you got to go back. Oh, yeah. That's it. And this is okay because this is good because I missed a few things. So I'm purposely doing this. That's quite, quite a bit below. Yeah. Well, not unfortunately, but like I've failed big time. So what I also need to do is yeah, unfortunately, you're not at your most um, uh, what um, am I? I can't ref reflexive. I'm yeah, I'm not thinking correctly. Like uh, what's the word? Okay, I, I missed the scout flight too. Wow, that's failed. You shouldn't have had that fucking one beer. <laughs> it's not the beer. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got a headache uh, when you had a beer once. Maybe you have. I did. Maybe you had chrols. Oh, yeah, when you had one at dinner or something, you got a headache. Like I, when, uh, like certain types of beer give me a headache as well, and then I lose concentration, sort of. Oh really? Oh fuck off! Oh, fuck off, cunt! Fuck! Okay. <laughs> Wait, is it? Was it that? Okay, Holy it's, shit! It's this. Okay, okay. Wait one second. Wait just Frozen? a darn fucking minute. Oh. Where the hell? Okay. So, all right, you need to do this. Okay, this week. You wanna need... build a snowman? You just did it. You just quoted Frozen in this let's play. Get out! Get out and never come back! Get out and never no. come back! You're bad! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Oh, yeah. No! Oh shit. Is there uh, anything uh, over there? Oh. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay. Guess we'll never know. We'll never find out. Um, I was going to say that, uh, you know, with, with the added pressure of, you know, having to have these graphics like PS4 and stuff like that, could could that be an issue for where people aren't no, confident designing because textures for a new generation? No, certainly not, because uh, it's it wouldn't take any more, um, any more trouble than it took in this, you know, in, in, in 2001 to make this. I mean, yeah. While that make while that does make sense, because it's such a big jump from the PS2 to the PS from the PS1, definitely. What, but how how much further how much further can you go? You know what I mean? Like 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 I. It's very hard to um, this this game looks really cartoony, for example, but it also yeah. looks incredibly detailed and realistic in, in other ways. But w when you get to a console like the PS4 or like the you know, PC modern day, how do you create that balance in this, in the same level without it being one thing or the other? That's one issue that I think is kind of relevant. I feel. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Like, ha like when you're getting to super, super, you know, realistic graphics. That, yeah, I know what you're saying, but it's like, it, but it's the same. It's sort of the same 
as they would have had back in this day because back in this day they sort of thought the same thing where like oh we can look at how high resolution these textures can be now and look at how many polygons we can have and you know they really use them but if you look at uh, Ratchet and Clank for example um, the modern versions of that sort of you know showed a good balance between uh, you know high quality graphics and um, and the sort of maintaining the same sort of cartoonesque uh, look to it. I That's, suppose. No, that is true. That's a good point. Yep. And uh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> as long as you've got, uh, yeah, as long as you've got a good designing team, you know, it's all about actually shaping and and um, uh, and you know providing and and what lighting to use, what the technological stuff you can sort of basically think of later or something uh, and and that's something that's more of a thing that you need to <clears throat> overcome rather than immediately use in your design per right. se yep. like you've got to because you've you've just got to have sort of that vision of how it's gonna look and and that will be roughly the same vision as they they would have had for the earlier Jack and Dexter games, except now, you know, they have somewhat different tools at their disposal to get that vision across, and that will include, um, you know, m more, you know, detailed edges or something yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. You know, something as something as simple as just polygon count. <coughs> but oh, what um, the fuck? Sorry. In terms of textures, they can make them higher resolution, but high resolution doesn't mean that it has to be more realistic. It's just more, you know, they don't have to downscale the textures pretty That's, much yeah, because yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, these textures are probably downscaled from art that was made by the designers. Yeah, many years um, ago. Yeah. yeah, very true. And, like, and I guess uh, PCSX2 kind of plays on that fact that like the, the basically it's able to tap into the game system and upscale what was originally already there uh, it does a bit yeah, of but even but, yeah, yeah, yeah but so. even then there's not there's not as much detail in them of course because you know the the actual files no, in not. the yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean if you if you would w were to look at the art and the and the textures that the designers would have drawn yeah. It wouldn't be any more trouble for that. Like they, they probably w first of all the, the sketches would have been you know higher resolution and more detailed and everything. Um, but you know if you look at uh, if you look at Photoshop artists or whatever, um, I mean they've just got more detailed tools at their disposal. It's not it's not really more trouble to make higher resolution drawings, so to speak. No, I, I if do. anything, they can just. If anything, they can just let their imagination roam more freely. Fuck you, mate. Whereas what you what you tend to see now in games is not people letting their imagination roam freely, but them just thinking about, okay, how am I going to look? Make this look as flashy in Hollywood as possible. <clears throat> Quick question: Is this the way you meant to go, or what? Or is this? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, don't, I think you you just got to be faster, mate. You sure? You sure? I swear that that's you can't get up there any normal way. Yes, you can by using the platforms. How do you make? Oh, the which one are you? How wait, you wait, which which one? Oh, do you mean the platform to the right? The, the one that I'm looking at right now. See that one? Yeah, no, you don't. You don't go up there that so you way. Go, you no. go this, you have to, do this thing. You have to come from the other side for that. Ah, uh, yeah. Now sure. I see. Because yeah, now I get you. All right, wait, I wait. thought you were get, trying to get up to the uh, one on the left still. Wait, no, because <laughs> I, I tried to do that and it didn't. It didn't. Wait, I'll show you in a sec. I'll the go. one on the left, uh, you can get up to because there's a power cell up there, I believe. Oh, really? I, th I thought there was like a second route you could go down this way. See? For example, right here. See? See this thing here? See? I was thinking... What do you mean? Oh, wait. So is there actually a power cell back there? Uh, there is. I don't know if you picked one up yet on that platform. No, I did. I, well, no, I, I did get that one on the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a door there. I think that door you like go to that yeah, later, don't you? The, the platform with the door, there's yeah. no power cell that you, you don't have to go there, but oh, that's right, the one on the right. Ah, right. uh, yes, yes, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Unless, oh, motherfucker. I'm seeing it. Oh, ball sack. Wait. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. What, what am I doing? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. 
Cock me. Oh, Mamma mia. Damn it. Right. Cock me. No, not me, meat. Did you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say, where, some of the artwork that I saw for the Jack and Daxter, you know, like the, you know, the new Jack and Daxter before they you know, canned it, uh, one issue, glaringly Can. obvious issue I noticed, was just how, like, they tried to make it realistic, you know, to suit a modern day PS3 setting, and it just, oh my god, Dax looked like a fucking joke. Like, it's like, you can't make him serious, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you just, you can't. Who did that? Naughty Dog. You know what I mean? Like, like which one? For the for the re, for the reboot that they planned, that they actually started making. Do you know what when? I mean? When? Like with the did, old last year, old like Naughty two Dog years ago or, or whatever. But no, oh, no, no, so that was with the us. new people. Yeah, the new people before. Because the yeah, last see, of us that's was what originally. I fucking mean. Yeah. That's what they've got these shit, like new kids artists who went to their shitty oh, fucking uh, fuck you know. Off. No, yeah, art school and and learned the new type of way. I mean, art school is not always shit, but I mean they they learned the the new style of commercial. I did art, that on purpose, by so the way, to speak. Just so I could go back to the top. Yeah, yeah, the the, the new the kind of yeah, gritty. <coughs> Get back to the top. Gritty. Um, uh, what's Realism. the word? Realism. Hollywood. Post. Uh, you know, not postmodern. So I meant uh, like like kind of that that, that well al almost in a f in a way. In, isn't it ironic that it Jack 2 itself was... Isn't it ironic? Bodies in there. Wait, um, isn't it ironic that, like, if you look at what Jack 2 was, you take this really colourful world, and then you basically, they, they tipped it on its head in Jack 2 while keeping the original charm of it. That's kind of funny that now, years later, they're not able to emulate it in the same way. I think that's just, yeah. it's, quite, it's quite telling that companies just aren't able to... Um, yeah, like, they're not able to emulate the it. The whole like work environment is completely different, you know. You, you're there with hundreds of fucking lap dogs and specialized drones dogs. who are just taking... Ha! Huh, <laughs> who are just taking orders from the top and um, basically all they're told Evan, to Evan ensure Wells, is... Lead designer, Evan Wells, lead designer, uh, lead artist of uh, Gex 2, by the way. Think about that. That that's I think that's something incredibly hilarious. The fact that the Gex 2 guy is like the head of Naughty Dog right now. It's crazy to believe, but anyway, continue. <laughs> Gex 2 wow. was, you know, crazily ambitious, even though it was shit in many ways. Um, anyway, but continue, as you were. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, Fuck. but I, I, another thing, but, but what you would see in Gex 2, though, is, um, uh, uh sort of signs that they had the kind of work environment that was more close-knit, and where they had, uh, you know, pretty much every person on the development team on the same floor and uh, in the same sort of office space, rather, so to speak, rather, and all wasn't sort that of more, communicating. Wasn't that more the industry in general? Do you know what I mean? I think that, you know, think yeah, about like, yeah, Naughty yeah, Dog yeah, and definitely. Insomniac work like next to each other. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like they're like next to each other's offices. And obviously, I'm not. You can't just say, "Oh yeah, go back to those days where they all work next to each other." You know, you, they can't simply do that. They, these companies have to grow at some point. But like, it's you know, it's a different type of experience altogether. That's for sure. Um, oh, here we go. It it, it um... gaming industry. The gaming industry is simply it can't. It's not going to go back to that. But there's ways that they can go back to that style without actually having to do it on a budget. <laughs> Like well, that's the, the thing. I mean, get, when you're trying to make art corporate, it's just not gonna work properly. Like, like, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna really benefit from that usually, because you know, if the game, I mean, you know, of course, yeah, it's 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 growing and stuff like that. But um, it's not like any of the people working on the games back in the '90s had lower wages or whatever. If anything, they had higher wages. Um, yeah, per capita, right? And and um, uh, I mean, there's fewer people making the game. There's fewer people buying the game, but there's also fewer people making the game. So I mean, you end up with sort of a, a, the same distribution. Uh, yeah, but um, of course, when you start to get the competition and and uh, corporate people are starting to see sort of the uh, potential in mass marketing gaming then you start to get companies that are kind of exploiting a more corporate sort of uh, de development style and 
I was just talking and, uh, to um, Ellen about that yesterday. Actually, I was just—I was basically ranting about Activision. Like, we're just ranting about like how just fight. Honestly, like they—they they, to me are the exact company like that. That the, the, I mean, like the, their cancellation of like five crash games in the past five years is proof. You know that like is proof to me that it, they are they are literally only out there to continue franchises. That is, that is the business of video games, and like it's 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 all about making a sequel and you know and doing as little work as possible. Well, making yeah, you know, uh, to, to it's it's it it is exactly it's all um, yeah corporate marketing, corporate uh, um, efficiency and and money making basically yeah. <clears throat> and they know that you know as soon as a comp company came along, uh, you know saying oh fuck we can make shit loads of money with this uh by just making you know churning out shit for the masses and and trying to and turning development from a sort of artistry into you know pure commercial uh, uh ventures um yeah well other people are gonna come along because there's other money hungry people of course and they're gonna say oh fuck they're making a lot of money with yes. this and yeah sort of they're starting to put us out of business because our bosses are like, shit, there's loads of money to be got in there. So then there's more and more companies coming like that, more and more competition, then it's all gonna just get more and more corporate. But in the end, it is so impossible to really make something that's as good as uh, in the old development style that, you know, that you're starting to get things that are more popular like kickstarters and stuff like that, because that's pretty much the only way to get something more personal out there more yeah creative yeah but i mean um i'll give a, i'll give a movie example because really while we're talking about the game industry uh oh, i actually i actually did it okay so that was only 37 minutes that's not ridiculous like i mean oh that's yeah. where you come from like okay. but you got no, all the orbs as well i got all the orbs got all the orbs nice bloody owning it mate. good I, I think uh, when we started to get, I'm not sure, but like the last five or ten minutes or something, the uh, gameplay didn't seem to be as, uh, like it seemed more up to scratch, but maybe that was just because I was... Uh, I did die like 20 times there, but I... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> maybe it was just because I wasn't we, focusing we, Yeah, we're, we're on a bit of a, a good, a good uh, discussion. Away, but, um Yeah, in the, in the topic of... In the topic of video games, I mean, in the movie industry, sorry, um, with the Kickstarters especially, you know, I'll give the, the good old example of Veronica Mars, which was exactly the type of thing, wait, wait, um, wait, do I have to, oh, wait, oh, really, wait, wait, do I have to really do that all again, I thought I could just walk back out, oh, no, <coughs> wait a minute, um, I there is a play, uh, I think you need to get back to the start, actually. Yeah, I'm yeah, not that, sure about that. That's it. I might actually just end it and then start in the swamp in a minute, just because there's no point. I've, I've done everything now. Wait a second. No, no, you can actually go... If, you, if you'd if you gone back um, in the thing that you came out of, it would sink back down. Oh, really? And then you can oh, use it to get me. back up again. Really? So, because you use the main entrance again, now it's still up there, so... You can't use it to get back uh, up, so you have to go to duh, the duh. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, okay. Well, all right. Um, okay, now <laughs> We're I trapped in here forever. <laughs> yeah, that's it. LP over, guys. So, yeah. Um, I was going to say... So it would have been cool if they had a switch down there to bring it back down or something, you know? That would have been a lot better, but... You know, screw it. We'll make this Not a 40-minute part. Um, the example of uh, Veronica Mars' movie Kickstarter... Um, which, you know, Veronica Mars was a, you know, popular but not very high rated show on the CW network, uh, you know, with Kristen Bell and all that stuff. And fantastic show, really good. <laughs> um, Kristen Bell. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Um, now so, I see why you're. Uh, yeah, so Kate. great, yeah, great show. Uh, and it got cancelled in 2007, low ratings. And then it came back um, on it. They did a Kickstarter in 2013. They only wanted like $2.5 million or whatever to do the bare bones kind of thing. Buck this shit. Don't do that. Don't uh, do bare bones shit. That's yeah. Well, that's exactly right. They, you they, don't want to. This is what you happened. You don't want to run out listen, of money because that's. Sh 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 they didn't do it. Listen, listen, listen. They, that was just their absolute minimum, right? Was 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 two point five million, which would have been yeah. Shit. They always go would have been terrible. But instead, they got something like six million, 
dollars in donations. Yeah. They, they, That's always the story with every, they, yeah, they, <laughs> every they, like. I think they secretly kind of knew that they would have been a, been able to do yeah. it. I think luckily, they always set low the goals, difference yeah. between these movies would have been like, yeah, they wouldn't have been like a like as big of a fight scene or like super like effect thing that they, they did this crazy scene which would have been quite quite expensive. But the point is is that yeah. Veronica Mars, right, it would have been marketable to, to the main audience. But Warner Brothers, a company that has billions of dollars, you know what I mean, basically, they didn't want to do well, it. Well, we didn't get those millions from nowhere, from just accepting any old but crap. It, 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 it disgusted me that they would take money from fans so that they could do it for free and barely have to market it. And then every single fucking showing of the movie sold out whenever they put it around. I went to go see it with Barrow. We got one showing in the entirety of South, of, uh, South Australia and we went to go see it, and it was sold out. It sold out in like 30 minutes, right? And here these fuckers are, these greedy pieces of shit that don't want to even put a couple million dollars into a movie, you know what I mean? Even though they have billions, and this would have been for millions of fans out there, and I say millions because they're, they're genuinely was and is you know, are millions of fans of this show and, and these cast and the, and the writers and, you know, the, um, Rob Thomas, the creator, is really, really a funny guy. Party Down is one of the, I'd say, one of the best comedies of all time. And, and the thing is, is that I just think it's just absolutely sickening the fact that the, these fucking rich company like that doesn't have a couple yeah. million to spare to make a fucking profit. They well, would have made a fucking profit. That's the well, thing that makes exa- no sense. But, but that's... That's the whole thing. Well, if Seinfeld was made uh if if Seinfeld were made now it, it would be cancelled it'd be out after yeah. done, after that first uh couple, that first six episode season they if it was on mm-hmm. uh, if it was on basic cable it might have got a second season maybe even a third but it definitely would not have gone um past yeah, it's too it's two. too uh too sitcom they they wouldn't allow laugh tracks on uh, cable or stuff like that or a- HBO type networks that's it yeah, yeah. uh because uh, Lucky Louie was on there and that was cancelled. Like, they tried to be a, uh, a more, you know, traditional sitcom except with swearing in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Swearing um, Yeah, but that got cancelled as well. And, and what, what um, network was that on? <coughs> HBO. Oh, okay. HBO. But I thought, uh, to be fair, I thought it was pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> like... It, it had uh, Louis C.K. as the main character. Oh, I, I uh, have heard of this now, actually. Now that you mention it, I don't like him actually. He's, oh, really? Everybody seems to love that guy. But I don't. I, I've seen Louis the show, and I saw like five episodes of that, and I thought it was pretty good. But it, oh, guess, Louis, it yeah, I don't know. Like just hearing him talk, he sounds like an asshole to me. <clears throat> like He's it, a bit of an he seems to. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, oh, well. oh but, really, uh, really, really, this just happened. Wow, it just froze again. This seems to be an issue, an issue very much exclusive to this PS3 version. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm going to cut Johnny off right there and say thank you for watching. This has gone way too long. I was going to make one more. Uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead. We'll just do it. And I'll just. I was just saying how. I was just saying how. It sort of shows how. Um, uh, uh, because the the people you know, Activision's really rich and all that, mm-hmm. but. The people that are actually developing the games, they're not they rich still get shit. They all. get nothing. No, they get nothing. Bobby Kotkick earned forty-six million dollars <laughs> a couple of years ago in profit. Exactly. So that's in his fucking pocket. That's sort Dead. of how worrying it is the situation with, especially America right now, where people seem to be out of their minds in trying to just grab more and more and more money, no matter what, uh, and. You know the the bloody CEOs. They, they keep getting. Oh fuck! This is actually kind of cliche stuff, isn't it? But, but, it, it's, yeah. but it's real. Yeah. You know, it's cliche, but that's only because more people are aware of it now. You know, I mean, years ago, people wouldn't have even said this, which is hilarious. Like less, less and less people would have said this kind of thing. So it's kind of good that even it's it's cliche. It's a very good point to be made. You know, what you were saying. Yeah, well, yeah, whether, whether you know, yeah, you know, but the that's rich sort get of, that's the sort of, sh- get poorer, you know, that kind <clears throat> of and that's sort of why they they don't want it. To, some, I mean, a lot of the ri- a lot of the rich people would be able to take risks by making a film like that, even if they think they can't market it or whatever, or they they don't know that it's um, that it's a guaranteed, you know, success. Mm-hmm. Um, but they don't want to take the risks anymore because all they care about is the safe bets for 
themselves, not even for the uh, yeah, because for the benefit because remember that yeah, because it because if they don't take the risk at all, then the people that work for them don't get any potential chance of earning anything above like a pretty small wage. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Where where if it was a success, they'd all get these great bonuses. You know, like all like you'd hope. Oh, you know what? They probably wouldn't, wouldn't they? They'd just all go in Bobby's pocket. Fuck nah, you, Bobby. they wouldn't. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, you <laughs> hack piece of shit. I, uh, uh, you fucking disgrace of a human being. Thanks, f thanks for single-handedly alongside your evil cronies who are probably all friends. You know, like EA, Ubisoft. I know I sound like a fucking twelve-year-old fanboy right now. It's not single-handedly. Uh, uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of them out there. That's right. So I was, I'd rather say with all their little cronies uh, yeah. in different companies. You know, thank, thanks, thanks for, thanks for turning like, like honestly, the people that would have looked at the gaming industry in the 1980s would have been like, would be, would be, one, on one hand, incredibly proud at what the gaming industry has became for, in a certain sense. You know, what I mean, we've got some incredible stuff out there, incredible talent. And the, but then on the other hand, you look at it and just look at the at the market of it, and you think, wow, it really, it's fucked. Like, it's it's not going to get any better. Like, I think we're, I think the days of the days of where like you know every game released you know like being a treasure or at least like the like certain games in certain companies or whatever every game where it was like a treasure and you're so looking forward to it those days are gone you know you're, you're only ever going to get franchises <coughs> now um well i mean it's got to blow up it. sometime though like this culture where you know the gap between rich and poor and, and you know the corporate mentality is only getting you know bigger and bigger america's about to collapse into itself on that whole sort of mindset because people can't really take it anymore no. and the 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 you know the common man yeah. is sort of sick of it as well yeah um even even subconsciously so and you know you're getting all these riots and stuff like that i mean people are sort of almost talking about you know a revolution and you know and and in not too long china's going to take over as the uh, as the uh, economic power anyway. Oh, I thought it already was. Oh, okay, well, there, okay. Yeah, well, it's very close then if it isn't already. If it isn't already, it pushes. Well, I mean, they, they've got... It depends on what you think economic power is because uh, oh, they, right, they yeah. have taken over They have taken over as the lead trading nation mm -hmm. of the uh, global. That's right. That's and that's heard, a lot yep. of power right there. Yep. Uh, but in a few years, they'll have the most... Uh, per capita stuff and all that yeah. as well. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Jack and Daxter podcast. Um, because like <laughs> half half the fucking thing has been this goddamn like port like you know frozen screen, so um, <laughs> <laughs> I might re I might replace it with like some other gameplay or maybe some like ice bucket challenge videos or something. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> okay. reference. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, remember. I, so, yeah. this this could be that part where you guys all start to get into your debates because I'd like to see what people think about not only this level but also what we said there because I think there's some interesting points to be made I guess thank you and join us when we go to Boggy Swamp which I think the gameplay will be a lot more uh, concise I think um, even though that level is pretty difficult goodbye <laughs>